Good morning, everyone. I am Dr. Babita, postgraduate second year student from Department of Radio Diagnosis, D.Y. Patil Medical College and Hospital, Kolhapur. My paper presentation topic is diffusion weighted MR imaging versus CT brain diagnostic accuracy in hyperacute stroke. Aim of this study was to compare the diagnostic accuracy of non enhanced computed tomography and diffusion weighted MR imaging in diagnosing hyperacute stroke. Objectives of the studies were to study the diagnostic accuracy of diffusion with MR imaging with non-enhanced CT in the diagnosis of hyperacute stroke and to study the role of diffusion weighted MR imaging and non-enhanced CT in diagnosing hyperacute ischemic stroke and deciding thrombolyting treatment and th therapeutic protocols that are aimed at reversing the cerebral ischemic insult. The materials and methods used in this study were clinical data, non-enhanced CT and DWI MRI and conventional MR images obtained in 200, uh, 200 consecutive patients with suspected hyperacute stroke. And the results of this imaging were uh, compared with each other and then correlated with the final discharge diagnosis. Uh, these are the images that have been taken during the studies. Uh, DWI, this is a DWI image of 57 year old female uh, with symptoms of stroke onset within 3.5 hours and showing restricted diffusion in left MCA territory with corresponding uh, low signal in ADC. And then this is an MR image of the same patient showing no flow in the left MCA. And this, this is an axial reconstruction showing an abrupt cutoff or occlusion of the left middle cerebral artery. Uh, this is a DWI of 52 year old male patients with symptom of stroke onset within four hours shows restricted diffusion in left MCA territory. And this is the MRA of the same patient shows no flow in the left MCA and then axial reconstruction showing an abrupt cutoff of the left middle cerebral artery. This is a DWI of a 59 year old female presenting within five hours of stroke symptoms shows hyperintensity in the right posterior parietal region. The MR angiography of circle of the list demonstrates small caliber of right sylvian branches of MCA with compared to the normal. Uh, this is a chart uh, that is showing the age distribution. Uh, in this study, the age range that was taken uh, was between 21 to 80 years and the most of the population uh, was between 51 to 60 years. Uh, that is around 29.5%. Uh, sex distribution, 73% uh, female were taken and 27% were of um, were male. Uh, sex wise age distribution. Uh, the between 51 to 60 years, the male percentage was around 31 and the female that were 28.8%. Severity of stroke based on non-enhanced CT and DWI MRI findings. Um, were around 11 cases, they showed lacunar or small stroke. Around 68%, 68 cases showed moderate stroke. 63 cases showed moderate to severe. And 38 cases were severe cases. Uh, non-enhanced CT findings. Uh, 26 cases, uh, cases showed hyperdense MCA signs. 44 cases have shown loss of gray-white interference and insular ribbon sign. 29 number of cases showed uh, loss of gray-white interface, obscuration of lentiform nucleus, and 101 cases have a normal CT. Imaging analysis, uh, out of 200 on MRI, the findings were seen in 180 cases, whereas in CT, 99 cases showed uh, some findings. Conclusion of the study, when compared with the uh, non-NLCD, DWI was more accurate for identifying hyperacute infarction and more sensitive for detection of ischemia. This study concludes with higher accuracy rate of diffusion weighted MR imaging in diagnosing hyperacute stroke than NECT. We conclude that diffusion weighted imaging is a highly reliable and superior imaging method than NECT in detecting ischemia in hyperacute stroke patients and thus aiding the clinician in deciding to treatment protocol at earliest. 
the study observed the non enhanced ct that cannot adequately estimate the volume of ischemia and hyperacute stroke and showed poor interrelator reliability the large volume strokes have an increased risk of hemorrhagic transformation after thrombolytic therapy the data in our study reveals the superiority of the dwi in assessing and delineating the extent of infarction in hyperacute stroke mri can also evaluate the age of infarct and the potential advantage of non enhanced ct is to identify and define acute intracerebral hemorrhage which is an absolute intra contraindication to thrombolysis thank you